What is up, Karatex? Welcome back to the Chop Shop DLC update, Drip Feed, and I'm still calling it Drip Feed because that's what it is, even though Rockstar kind of marketed this new sort of like mini update Drip Feed thing as the uh, Cluck and Bell Farm Raid, but it is, you know, just Drip Feed from the Chop Shop update. So, Canis Terminus, which is the new Jeep, and the Gauntlet Interceptor, both of them officially released today, March 7th, 2024. Um, this one you have to do the, I guess, the first couple intro missions or whatever to get the gauntlet interceptor to even buy it and then complete the cluck and bell farm rate to get the trade price for the interceptor but the jeep you can just buy it right away uh, but that's it for drip feed there's no more drip feed content um, after this so cluck and bell farm raid uh, and these two vehicles officially released today and i guess you get the oh the benson's already out too yeah so that's it everything is <laughs> officially officially out all right, so in this video, we're going to be focusing on the brand new Canis Terminus. Then in the next one, uh, we're going to be focusing on the Gauntlet Interceptor. Man, this Jeep, everybody has been waiting for this Jeep for a long time. And the Gauntlet Interceptor, too. So, two very, um, you know, exciting vehicles that we can finally customize and, you know, drive and all that um, officially. You know, obviously, people are getting these things early through glitches and stuff, but officially for most players... Um, this is the, you know, first time that we finally have it in game. Um, but, yeah. So for those of you who don't know what this is based on, primarily based on the fourth generation Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. Now, this one does have the hood from, like, the 3ND2 model, you know, the hood scoop. Um, but in terms of the exhaust note itself, it's it still has that sort of, like, six-cylinder um, exhaust note. So... Yeah, I think it, it's probably leaning more towards a standard Rubicon because it's lifted and all that. But, alright, let's go ahead and check out the customization. You hear the exhaust note here. See, it doesn't really sound all that uh, girthy. <laughs> would have been cool if they would have done the uh, V8 exhaust note and made it super quick, like a 3 2 But, alright, arch covers. Painted. Stocks. You can remove the arch covers. It's so cool, man. It, it took Rockstar forever. I mean, er, ever since the game came out, I mean, I've, I've been saying this, you know, f since pretty much the game came out. Um, you know, we've never really had a, a Jeep that has actual customization. You know, we had the standard Kenneth Mesa and then the Merriweather Mesa, which sort of came lifted with, you know, the exterior roll cage and all that. But neither of them actually had, you know, proper visual customization. Now we finally have a Jeep in game that actually has... <laughs> visual customization which is nice but anyways we got the slim arches I like that painted oh wow the heavy duty these are like typical mods you see on jeeps in real life I absolutely love it I'm a big fan of the slim arches so we'll do that armor brakes bumpers so you have the crop bumper I got the all oh, the other sections cut off that's sick you got the bull bars I like that mount bar Spotlights with the mount bar. Heavy duty bumper. I like that one. Painted heavy duty. Do you need a hmm. I like the heavy duty. Let's go with the heavy duty bumper on the black. Oh, rear bumpers. The heavy duty rear. I like that. Utility with a rear winch. That looks sick. Painted. Yeah, let's go with the utility bumper. Your doors door protectors oh my god of course you can remove the doors and put the tube doors that's so cool wow lots of different tube door options that is that's that's pretty awesome wow <laughs> this is this is really sick I don't even know which one to put there's so many cool options here I guess the aftermarket ones All right, we'll do that. We'll do the aftermarket. These look kind of weird, don't they? Let's go with the, the short ones. We'll do that. Engine. Exhaust. What's this? Oh, there's a stock exhaust right under the license plate. Okay, I didn't even see that. Got the twin-coated exhaust. Chrome. Ooh, the quad. Kind of like a 3 2 That's exactly like a 3 2 actually. Right, we'll do the chrome like that. You can make it look exactly like a 3 d 2 but you, you can't actually, you don't have this exhaust note, which kind of sucks, but anyway. Oh my god, the angry eyes. <laughs> That's funny. 
the carbon grill aftermarket even even more oh it, it kind of cuts off the top part of the grill interesting aggressive grill I don't like the way that looks heavy duty uh, that looks more like a Jeep grill Whatever you desire. wow that's crazy um I mean heavy duty grill looks pretty cool but I feel like the stock one makes it look more original look I don't know that's that's a that's a tough choice all right I'll go with a heavy duty grill I guess and I definitely want I don't want it painted I want the the, the black contrast around it hood carbon overlay around the hood scoop that's sick skull overlay <laughs> camo utility hood with the shovel Ooh, vented hood with more vents I like that what with all the different uh wow cow hood with a limited that's sick looking I like that hood a lot wow hmm this looks more like a Rubicon hood this one but I do like the hood scoop a lot with the vents I don't know if we should do the the camo kind of like overlay around it looks pretty cool hmm I think I'll stick with the vented hood for now just in case we put a livery on it or something do some xenons liveries got the forest no no enduro forts I don't know what I was saying forest <laughs> basically a camo livery uh, Canis Geometric. I guess these are a bit tougher to see with the doors removed. Woods Off-Roading. Hard Stand Trippin. Street. A bunch of different ones here. Wow. Life is hard when you can have anything. Hmm. I think I'll go with the, the Canis Geometric. Kind of gives us some, some contrast there. We'll do that. Uh, plates. I think I have a... Oh, there, I do have my muddy plate. That worked tire. out well. Okay. Do want the E. cola background, though. Yes. Respray. So for this... Hmm. I'm thinking we do a blue. I don't know. I really like Jeeps in, like, a bright blue, to be honest. Um... I think we should just throw an ultra blue. Yeah, that looks, that looks good. <clears throat> I like that. Let's do that. Secondary is going to be our hood scoops, grill trim, um, tow hooks, bumper, bull bar, door frames. I feel like we should make that red. Yeah, that's that would look good in red. I probably passed it. Yeah, all right. Do the red. Why does it look pink? I guess that's because of the pearlescent. We might have to remove the pearlescent. That's not. <laughs> that's not. That's looking a bit weird. Yeah. All right, let's uh, do the black there. And we have the blue and the red looks pretty good. It's not bad. Secondary color. Oh, we already did that. Trim color. Now we got the interior, like the dashboard. And then the interior sort of like roll cage. I think that should be blue to match. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, roof, roof delete. Oh, that's sick. You can remove the roof just like real life. That's awesome. You get the painted roof, canted roof. They didn't do. Why didn't they do um a primary? They didn't do a primary roof and a secondary roof. Because right now our primary is blue, our secondary is red, and our trim color is blue. So why <laughs> they did a painted? That's that's kind of annoying. Hmm. I guess I'll rock the uh, the roof delete then. Don't she look pretty? Skirts. We got these slat skirts. Well, these are basically side steps, tube steps, tube protection, nerf bars, stinger steps. Honestly, I kind of want to skip this one. I prefer just the like the rock slider it has there. Yeah, I don't I don't like any of these. All right, we'll skip that. Spare wheel. Wheel the cover. Car Painted carbon wheel delete. And you got the utility wheel mount. Utility mount. Hmm. I guess we'll do that. Transmission, turbo, wheels. I, now, I'm not going to lie. I really like the stock wheels a lot. But 
let's see how um standard wheels look oh quite ridiculous and how do off-roads look not bad i do like the the concave rally masters a lot too but then our spare wheel doesn't change so that's that's the problem hmm honestly i'm gonna leave the stocks i think man, i don't know maybe we i think we should because we do have the option to okay you know what is what we'll do we'll do this and i want them in black how does some no i don't like the tire design and then the the spare wheel will do the delete yeah okay that that that's that's the way to go um did that windows well our doors are removed so that's kind of irrelevant right now <laughs> so we'll just leave that as is windshield accessories snorkel improvised snorkel okay oh the light bar i like that windshield armor painted armor let's go with a light bar i, I want to see if that works too all right that's all the options all right let's take it for a drive exit to ground that's crazy the customization you can do to this i'm i'm very happy with the way rockstar did this they did it they did a great job with the customization for sure light bar yes it works let's go okay that definitely makes that worth it <laughs> awesome man first person here i love the blue dash and this interior does suit it pretty well, even though it's like an old generic SUV interior, but it kind of works with the Jeep. Even though it would have been nice to have like a touchscreen in the middle, but other than that, it works. All right, floor it. Wow, fantastic grip and acceleration off the line. Yeah, moves pretty good. Accelerates well. Wow, this thing is not slow. I mean, it's not fast either, but it's not, it's not slow. Wow, very good grip. I'm surprised. I expected this thing just to like flip over on the first corner. <laughs> it actually handles pretty nice. Put our light bar on. Yeah. Man, really good, like insane steering response. I'm surprised. It actually. Okay, a bit of entry understeer, but. Handles pretty well. Very quick. Let's see how it does. Can it climb this? Prob no, that's way too steep. That's way too steep. That's an wow. It wants to though. That's impressive. Let's see how it does this over here. Oh, it should easily do this with flying colors, like no problem at all. And oh, we bottomed out. That's how we need a two-door version of this. Jeez, man, this the acceleration of this thing is nuts off-road. It just grips and goes over everything. That's impressive. I mean, as long as it gets the grip, it just shoots up whatever. That's that's pretty impressive. Oh, well, this is like nothing for this. But it, it's weird though the way they program this because it 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 feels like. Let me see something here. See, it, it just, look at that, it just, <laughs> it just wants to, it just grabs and pulls over anything, that, that's wild. That is amazing. This is a very, I, I can already tell you, this is a very, very, very good off-roader. I'm impressed. I am very, very impressed. I like it. I genuinely do. Wow, one of the, I mean... Out of all the cars in this DLC so far, I mean, this one, this one is so worth it to, <laughs> to think to me. Because, I mean, it has the proper effort put into it. I know it's expensive, though. One point, just under 1.9 million. Uh, plus your upgrades, I mean, you're easily going to be, what, 2.2, 2.3 million dollars in this thing. But, I mean, it's it's a great looking vehicle. It has I mean, it's a proper looking Jeep. has the customization. I like the fact that it's lifted. It, it's quick. Off-roading is incredible. <laughs> um, I'm, I mean, that's... Wow. All right. Preferences. Nice. There's the engine model. Just a generic sort of like cover. Makes me do like a canvas cover for it there. Doors. Oh, look at that. The back opens like a real Jeep. That's... That's that's cool, man. Well, Rockstar. Um, this is... This is like a 9 out of 10. 
I just wish I had a V8 exhaust note and, and a V8 engine model to reference at 3ND2. I think that would have been sick, but I guess they didn't have to do that. Um, but other than that, I mean, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Personally, with, with all the stuff they've been adding and how expensive the cars are these days in GT Online, I think it's worth it. So, that's just my take on it there. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. And if you're going to buy it, thanks again for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.